All right, so we have a bit of a predicament here. Uh, I went back to this file because I'm doing something with Harold Johnson. Uh, I'm planning on finishing the season out, winning the championship, and possibly putting him on PC because just playing on Xbox just ain't it. It ain't it. But when I loaded up the file, it didn't save from last episode. As you know, last episode, we got signed out of the last game against the Boston Celtics. And I had to play it again. It was pretty stupid. Uh, and then the Nets ended up winning and going to the conference finals. Well, it turns out when I loaded it up, it, it didn't save. So we were still up only 1-0. And no one had moved on to the conference finals. So I had to... I, I just simmed that. I didn't even play it. I had to sim... And it's the Detroit Pistons ended up beating the Brooklyn Nets. So now we have to take on the Detroit Pistons instead of the Brooklyn Nets, which would have been dope revenge series. Also, the Warriors ended up not going to the conference finals. It's now the Timberwolves. Yes, the Timberwolves with Lonzo Ball are in the conference finals against the Houston Rockets. I guess let's just jump into this Pistons game. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and be a content every single day. All right, here we are. Eastern Conference Finals against the six-seeded Detroit Pistons. Yeah, I don't know how they got here either. Uh, this was supposed to be the Brooklyn Nets, but as I stated in the beginning, uh, uh, 2K sucks, the Xbox sucks, all that jazz. So we are facing the Detroit Pistons. I mean, it's a different team. It's a different team. We're usually playing the same exact team, so this should be, you know, a nice little refresh. Uh, they do have an insane backcourt. I mean, um, front court. And um, Pascal Siakam and Andre Drummond. So that should be fun to go up against. Other than that, the rest of that team, their bench is good with um, JJ Redick and uh, Lamarcus Aldridge. But other than that, they don't have much. So we let's see. We should easily just win both games. I mean, come on now. We should easily sweep this team. Fast break. Looking for our first points of the game. Jimmy Butler's immediately greening a three pointer. That's how it's going to start off. All right, we're already off to a two to eight start in this game. This might be a, a two-game episode. I, I mean, if we're going to blow out this team, I'm not saying we are. But if we do end up blowing out this team, I mean, it's going to be a, a two-game um, episode. I'm already calling it right now. We're only up by four. It is right in the beginning of the game. Pascal is having a horrific playoff scoring-wise. Bam Adebayo with Pascal on him, and he missed. Oh, fast break. Insane block. Jimmy Butler throw up the lob for my first point. Bro, we've just been picking apart this team defensively and offensively. They can't get anything to go. Oh, Tyler Hero for three. Come on. There we go. I'm not going to do I'm not scoring. I can't score for some reason. I need a score. I need to score at some point. I know Sekou Duboya is a good defender, but, like, there we go. Finally, I, I haven't been hitting any shots. We're up by 12 already. Fast break, I have a chance to score again. I'm actually gonna give it to Jimmy Butler. Share the wealth, Jimmy Butler! I don't need a score. I'm gonna just keep dishing the rock. Jimmy Butler throwing it down. But like I did mention in the beginning of this video, uh, yeah, after this season, I am considering putting Harold back on PC. Well, not back on PC, he was never on PC. I'm considering putting him on PC. Uh, I already made him. He's gonna be a low overall because I wanna use this new system. It's called Synergy 2K. I've used it before in the past. It's just a ranking. Oh my god, Jimmy! It's just an upgrading system for 2K, basically. Except it's on the computer. Uh, go watch. I have videos from like 2K19, but really just go watch Slim Mamba. He uses that. Um, if you're already watching, you should know. But he uses that um, software all the time. All right, the Pistons are making this a game. I was not expecting this 12-point game here. It's maybe because I can't buy a shot at all. I'm, they're like, Sen Seku is playing lockdown defense on me, dude. I can't hit anything. Oh, okay. As I say that, I hit a green. But, like, seriously, I can't hit anything. Perfect. Oh, green bean Tyler Hero. What a bucket. I was not expect. Oh, and he's got his takeover. It's over for you, Detroit. It's over. You brought it to 12, but back-to-back -back threes put you right back in a hole down by 18. 20 seconds left. Give it to Jimmy. In the no, oh, he's driving right to the rack. Jimmy buckets, wasting no time, bringing us up by 25 points. 15 seconds left in this first half. I'm gonna definitely sim to the end, and we're gonna play game two and probably get this Eastern Conference Finals over with. Let's be honest here. 
This is just ridiculous. Pascal at the buzzer. He misses up by 25 going into halftime. All right, I am going to sim to the end, but first I want to check the stats. Jimmy Butler had 22 points already. Four threes. He has been killing it. I had 19 and 10. Uh, Hero had 8. Bam had 7 and 11. Mitchell had 6 blocks. And for the Pistons, <laughs> not much. Pascal's actually playing decent. But we are going to sim to the end. Uh, we're going to look at the stats, and then we're going to hop into game 2, which might be the sweep. Uh, Jimmy ended up dropping 30. I dropped 29, 7, 15, 2 steals and 2 blocks, shooting god-awful from the field. Bam had 23 and 18 with 4 steals and 3 blocks. Um, Kendrick Dunn 17 off the bench with 5 steals. Tyler Hero 16, 6, and 7. Uh, Mitchell Robinson 8, 10, and 6. Chris Paul, we don't really matter. Wow, our team killed it. And this dude, Ashton Hagans, Hagans, whatever the hell you say his name. 24 points, awful efficiency, 8 turnovers. Pascal, 17 points, he put eh. Drummond, play like ass, and no one else did anything for that team. Wow, we beat this team by 34 points. Unbelievable. Let's just get this series over with and hop into game two. Alright, now that that motorcycle just passed by, we are here in Detroit for game two, the possible last game of this Eastern Conference Finals. We destroyed the Pistons in game one. You just saw that. So let's see if we can do the same thing here tonight. All right. Tie game, two to two. See what we can get done here. Uh, Mitchell Robinson can set the screen. I want to be more of an offensive presence here in this game as I take a bad three. I, I, three-pointer ain't Harold's game. He's not a three-pointer. He's a slashing defender. So maybe I need to chill on the three-pointers and just go straight to the basket as Bam reaches in. Let's go. Straight to the basket. Oh, I see Jimmy. Wide over for the three. Come on, Jimmy. Oh, this game might be different, bro. I know it's just one missed shot, but Jimmy just missed that wide open three. He was hitting those last game. And great defense by Jimmy. Redeem yourself, bud. Redeem yourself. Bam. Keep cutting. Keep cutting, Bam. That's a foul. Tied game here. He's taking the jump shot. It's missing. But Andre Drummond right on the glass. But I'm there playing defense on the big fella. Jimmy Butler. Right to the rack on the rookie floater, and it's good. Right off the glass, we take the lead. Jimmy Butler in the playoffs is averaging 27 points on 60% shooting from the field. He has been killing it. All right, I'm getting subbed out. Down by two. The Pistons came to play this game, and we are down by 10. The Pistons came to play. Fast break, trying to make it only a six-point game, and I'm indeed going to do that. This is where I got to start making shots, start putting on the backpack because down by 10 coming back into the game clearly shows that our bench did not do anything. Marcus Aldridge is putting me in the post. Oh, he got me. Ah, oh, he got me. I'm not good in the post. I'm not meant to guard big men. I know my secondary position is a power forward, but like I'm not that type of player as I'm going straight to the rack. Like power forwards and centers can't keep up with me and I'm way too weak to guard them. Oh, Tyler Hero for the lead. He missed. Oh, come on, Tyler. Mitchell just got a sick block on the other end. Oh, my God. We got Kendrick Nunn on Pascal. Oh, my God. Oh, Kendrick Nunn got the steal. Kendrick Nunn. Jimmy Butler, give us the lead. Came in the game down by 10. Look at that. We get the lead right back. Pascal in the post. I don't know. What do you expect me to do? He missed. Oh, my, oh my God. That was a... Listen, I just got the advantage over the big man, and that happens. Oh, I'm getting subbed out. Probably for the rest of the quarter. We're up by two. All right, we're up by three. I am good with that. Very close game. Very high-scoring game in this game, too. The Pistons aren't giving up here. Oh, Tyler Hero with the steal. We are only up by one point. Oh, he's taking that right to the basket. All right, we are currently up by three points. We got to pull ahead here. Come on now. Push it. Push it. Oh, Andre Drummond. Come on. Oh, is that going to be a It is our ball. Let's go, Bam. The defense. All right. I just went totally silent because look at the score. We just went on a huge run, and that run continues. We are now up by... 14 points. I hit like four. I hit two threes in a row. And then 
Jimmy hit a couple of twos, Jimmy hit another uh, two, and I hit another deep three. And, I mean, now we're just up by a lot. Uh, this bench is, is not doing good for the Pistons. It, it single-handedly got him out of this game. Butler with the steal. I'm just going to go for a simple layup. I'm not going to get flashy. I'm not going to get flashy. 16-point game. I'm going to subbed out here. We're up by 17. And our bench can keep that lead up by 15. Now nine minutes left in the fourth quarter. The Pistons need a huge comeback in order to win this game. Now, I would just say, I would just sim to the end at this point. But I actually want to see the celebration. So, I mean... I mean, I'm, then they're not going to sub me out, which sucks. Because at this point, there's eight and a half minutes left. You sub out your starters until the Pistons start coming back. Like, if, if it's a ten-point game, then you sub in your starters. That's when you're like, all right, that's where it's danger mode. Even though it's still double digits, that's where you bring in your starters. I saw White's out to put back. We're up by 18. There's no reason for me to be out here, bro. You want a Derrick Rose situation? You want me to get hurt? All right, a minute left. This free throw... Will be for 50 points, and I get it. 50 points in this elimination game. I mean, there's a minute left. I'm just going to bring out the starters at this point. I was just trying to sub myself out so this game can go quicker. But 50 points, 16 assists in this elimination game. This was very, very close until that third quarter. That third quarter just uh, terrorized the freaking um, Pistons. I don't know what happened. Something happened to those Pistons. I wanted to pass it Derek Jones Jr. He was wide open. But something happened to the Pistons. And they just got steamrolled in that third quarter. I honestly think it was their bench. Honestly, I think it was their bench. I'm going in the post. Going in the post. Put it up, please. Thank you. I don't care that I missed. I was trying to double tap. But we got 17 seconds left. Foul. Oh, okay. I, I wanted to foul so I can get the starters in. Thank you. Third foul, I don't care. I don't care. Just get the starters in the game. We got 13 seconds left. We need to celebrate. Harold's second trip to the finals. Last year, we got bounced in the first round, sadly. But redemption for Harold and the Heat as they are going to defeat the Detroit Pistons in the Eastern Conference Finals. Move on to Harold's second NBA Finals. And let's end it off on a three. The Miami Heat are going to the NBA Finals against two. You're going to find out next episode. We already know it's the Rockets or the Timberwolves. We win 148 to 120. I wish we could have got 150, but hey, you can't get everything. We're on our way to the NBA Finals. First time with the Miami Heat. We went there our first season with OKC, and we got swept by the Bucks. Second season with Miami, we broke records. We won, I believe, 74 or 75 games a loss to the eight-seeded Nets in the first round. But third year, Harold Johnson, the redemption run, sweeps the Eastern Conference and is moving on to the NBA Finals. Harold Johnson is the new LeBron of the East. Raise that trophy with pride. There we go. Redemption back to the Finals. I don't know how many times I need to say it. It's happening. Box score. Lamarcus Aldridge tried his best. 23 points off the bench. Uh, this dude, he was ass his whole series shooting-wise. JJ Redick hit their bench tried, but it wasn't enough. Pascal, once again, not enough. Andre Drummond did not show up. For us, 53 points for Harold. 4 rebounds, 16 assists, and 2 steals. Shooting insane from the field. Jimmy Butler, once again, with an insane game. 24 points, 8 assists, and 3 steals. Hassan off the bench, balled out. Tyler Hero did his thing. Same thing with Bam at a bio. Mitchell Robinson. Chris Paul is going to the NBA Finals for the second time in his career, both with Harold. But can Harold help Chris Paul get his championship this time? Only time will tell. So be sure to subscribe to see that. Be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.